Want to pull data from Stripe straight into Airtable? In this video, I'll show you how to connect the two using the free Data Fetcher extension. We'll import your customers, sync updates, and even automate everything all in a few minutes. First, open your Airtable base. Go to Tools, then Extensions, then add an extension. In the search bar, type Data Fetcher. Click Add, then Add Extension. You'll be prompted to sign in or create a free Data Fetcher account. You can also sign up with your Google account. Once you've signed in, click Create your first request. In the application dropdown, choose Stripe. Under Authorization, click New Stripe Connection. A new browser tab will open. Choose your Stripe account and click Connect. This gives Data Fetcher read only access to your Stripe data. Back in Data Fetcher, set endpoint to list all customers. The endpoint is where you choose the type of data you want to pull from Stripe. For example, customers, subscriptions, or transactions. In this tutorial, we'll use customers. Name your request something like import Stripe customers, then click save and continue. Before running the import, you can configure optional filters. Email lets you import only customers with a specific email or domain, or leave this blank to import all customers. In the created dropdown, you can choose to import customers created within a specific time frame, such as the last 30 days, or a custom date range. Once you've set your filters, click Save and Run in the bottom right corner to begin importing your Stripe customer data into Airtable. The Response Field Mapping window will now open. This is where you choose which Stripe fields to import into Airtable and decide where they should go. By default, all fields are selected, but let's narrow it down to just the essentials. First, click Deselect All to start fresh. Select ID. By default, all fields are automatically mapped to new fields. Let's continue selecting created. Leave created field type as a number. Stripe uses Unix timestamps for date values. You can also convert this to a readable date format later using an Airtable formula. You can also use the search bar to find fields more quickly. Let's select name and map it to an existing field. And email. You can also toggle the show selected first option to quickly view only the fields you've just added. Once you've mapped your fields, Click Save and Run. Data Fetcher will create the new fields in your Airtable table and fill them with your Stripe customer information. Because Stripe only returns 100 customers per request, Data Fetcher may need multiple runs to import your complete customer list. To keep your Airtable data in sync with Stripe, open Data Fetcher. Open your request's advanced settings. Under Update, based on fields, select ID. Click Save. This ensures updates in Stripe are matched to the right records in Airtable. Stripe stores dates as Unix timestamps. These are just numbers that count the seconds since January 1st, 1970. To turn them into readable dates in Airtable, create a new formula field in Airtable. Use the formula date add open parenthesis 1 slash 1 slash 1970 comma created comma seconds close parenthesis. Name it something like created date and set the formatting to your preferred date style. Then click create field. You'll now see the converted date values, showing exactly when each customer was created. At the moment, you need to click Run each time to fetch new Stripe data. To have this happen automatically, you'll need a paid Data Fetcher plan. After upgrading, open Data Fetcher. Click Authorize to give Data Fetcher access to your base. Choose Add all resources to avoid access issues. Click Grant Access. Make sure Schedule this request is turned on. Choose how often you want to sync. Click Save. From now on, your Stripe customer data will update in Airtable automatically. And that's it. Your Airtable base now stays in sync with your Stripe customers automatically. If you'd like to learn how to connect Airtable to Xero and import invoices without code, check out this video next.